another night of strikes and close combat by coalition forces against the Iran-backed Houthis in Yemen. U.S. officials said joint forces hit 10 drones being readied for launch, as well as a control center in overnight operations, even as U.S. and U.K. defense officials note that Iran is only increasing its involvement. The United Kingdom's partnership is pivotal to addressing the Houthis' reckless and illegal attacks against military vessels and commercial shipping in the Red Sea. And we can see Iran's hand here as well, providing the Houthis with advanced conventional weapons, intelligence, and expertise. But the Houthis are using Iran's weapons to great effect, firing on U.S. Navy ships, with one incident bringing an anti-ship cruise missile within a mile of the U.S. destroyer USS Gravely, past its longer-range defenses and the closest they have come to hitting a U.S. ship forcing the ship's phalanx close-in weapon system to down the missile, an event the Houthis have declared a great victory. The naval forces of the Yemeni armed forces targeted the American destroyer that was hit by several naval missiles in the Red Sea, and the hit was direct and accurate. Thank God. According to CENTCOM, there were no reports of injuries or damage. It's the latest in an ongoing series of strikes led by the U.S. and U.K. under Operation Poseidon Archer to try to put an end to Houthi attacks on global shipping. So far, the Houthis have proved defiant. Just hours after the incident with the USS Gravely, Houthis say they targeted another U.S. operated commercial ship. The Yemeni armed forces will confront the American British escalation with escalation and will not hesitate to carry out broad and qualitative military operations in response to any British American foolishness against dear Yemen. As the United States expands operations against Iranian proxy groups, it has not yet found the correct answer for ending their aggression entirely.